buy candles. Something frightening is coming. Conflicts, demons unleashed, a rain of fire. Christians should close the windows, never open the doors, never look outside the house. No type of lighting will work during these days except for blessed candles. For over a century, the prophecy of the three days of darkness has haunted Christians worldwide, especially Catholics. However, unlike centuries past, current signs of chaos indicate that this prophecy is very close to fulfillment. According to saints and mystics of the church, the prophecy states that for three days preceding the coming of Christ, the entire earth will be covered in dense darkness. Therefore, many believers are preparing to stock up on blessed candles, food, and duct tape to seal the windows. This terrifying vision was experienced by the French nun Marie Julie Jahani, considered by many as the most important mystic in the history of the church. Various saints and mystics of the church supposedly conveyed visions of such dreadful days. Among the mentioned names, the most well-known and respected are undoubtedly Padre Pio, Blessed Anna Maria Taigi, and Sister Marie Julie Jaheni. I invite you to listen to the frightening vision of the three days of darkness, after which the earth will become a vast cemetery. But to understand the prophecy, we need to know who Marie was. Known as the stigmatized one from Brittany, Marie was born in 1850 in a small village in French Brittany called Blaine. As the eldest of five siblings, her parents were humble and devout people, deeply faithful from childhood. She stood out for her great devotion. She received the first graces during her first Holy Communion, to which she responded with greater devotion. At the age of 20, she entered the convent and decided to fulfill the will of our Lord, seeking atonement for the sins of France and the world. For over 60 years, she bore the stigmata on her body. Stigmata of Christ, clearly visible. Five wounds on hands, feet and side, wounds from the crown of thorns lacerations and wounds on her arms caused by the weight of the cross, even marks from the ropes with which our Lord was bound appeared on her. Marie Julie often had visions of Jesus and the Virgin Mary, along with the gift of prophecy and performing miracles. The French nun had many visions in which the Virgin Mary revealed how the terrifying three days of darkness would be, during which infernal forces would be unleashed to destroy the enemies of God. These visions did not occur sequentially, but were scattered over time. Pay special attention to the content of Sister Marie's visions, as they are chilling. A great crisis will erupt suddenly. The punishment sent will be universal and will follow one another incessantly. The three days of darkness will occur on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, on the day of the solemn communion of the most holy sacrament of the cross and the mother of God. Three days, except for one night. The earth will be covered in darkness and hell will be unleashed on earth during this time. Terrifying thunder and lightning will cause those who do not believe and do not trust in my power to die of fear. During these three days of terrible darkness, no window should be opened because no one will be able to see the earth and the terrible colors it will assume in these days of punishment without immediate death. The sky will be surrounded by fire and the earth will melt. During these three days of darkness, it is recommended to light only one blessed candle everywhere. No other light will shine. Whoever leaves their shelter will not survive. The earth will shake like an earthquake, and the fear and terror will be immense. In this terrible darkness, only candles of blessed wax will give light. Only one single candle will suffice for the time of this hellish darkness. In homes where the godless and blasphemers live, these candles will not give light. At this moment, Everything will shake. Only the furniture on which the blessed candle is burning will remain still and will not shake. Everyone will gather around the cross and the blessed image. Will it be enough to protect ourselves from this fear? During this darkness, demons and the gods will assume the most repugnant forms. Red clouds like blood will move across the sky. The roar of thunder will shake the earth and malevolent lightning will tear the sky. The earth will tremble until the sea rises and its raging waves will spread across the continent. The earth will resemble a vast cemetery. The bodies of the godless and unjust will cover the earth. Three quarters of the world's population will disappear and half of the population of France will be destroyed. Dear friend, indeed, in the scriptures, there are many references to the days of great darkness and the terrible tribulation preceding the end times and the glorious coming of Christ. 
such as in Isaiah 5 verse 30, Matthew 24 verse 29, and Revelation 6 verse 12. Are you prepared to face these terrible days of darkness? What do you think about Sister Mary Julie's herd vision? Share your opinion in the comments below this video. Although this prophecy causes so much fear, we as Christians should focus on dedicating our time and energy to love God above all and our neighbour as ourselves. Let us strive to free ourselves from our sins, pray even more, and express our faith through actions of forgiveness and love. Only in this way will we be saved. At this moment, close your eyes and let us pray together, seeking the intercession of the Divine Creator and our Beloved Mother. O oh, merciful God, Heavenly Father, we humbly turn to you in the face of the impactful revelations conveyed to us through the visions of the beloved sister, Maria Julie. In the inevitability of the three days of darkness, we acknowledge our fragility and dependence on your divine protection. Lord, look upon us, your children, and grace us with the readiness for the imminent events. May the words of your servant, Marie Julie, become an urgent call for repentance, prayer, and contrition. Mary, beloved mother, intercede for us before your son. Your constant presence in visions and revelations leads us to seek refuge under your maternal mantle. Bless our candles and grant us the necessary light during the days of darkness, guiding us on the path of faith and hope. In moments of darkness, allow us to remain united in prayer, focusing on the blessed light emanating from your grace. Protect us from the allure of evil, strengthening our faith and courage in the face of approaching challenge. Lord, in your infinite mercy, look upon humanity with love. Surround us with the grace to love you above all and love our brothers as ourselves. May our actions be guided by love for our neighbour and the constant pursuit of holiness. Mary, our mother, help us remain faithful in the face of adversity, gathering around the cross and the blessed image, finding security in your intercession. May we, in the face of terrifying days, remain strong in faith, trusting in your promises of protection and salvation. Envelop us with the strength to resist temptations and the wisdom to live according to your will. In your name, Jesus, we trust, hope and love. Amen. If you've made it this far, leave a comment of faith. Lord, protect me from temptations and evil. Don't forget to give a like to motivate me to bring more relevant content. Until the next video.